of his opponent's head. He then grips his opponent's head to jerk it down for a knee strike. In order to facilitate the movement, once Malapit's hand is released, his leg on the same side must simultaneously move in in an outward circular motion so that his body will be in position to deliver a knee strike. Notice that after Malapet's leg circles out, it ends up in a rear-legged position to deliver a rear-legged knee strike. Notice as Malapet's hands travels to the other side of his opponent's head, it is placed above the underhook side grip that was already in place. Again, from the overhook, underhook position, Malapet places his underhook side hand under his opponent's armpit. With his overhook side, Malapit grabs his opponent within a deep grip that reaches around his opponent's head towards the area around the opposite side ear. Malapit pulls his opponent in a circular motion while the hand under his armpit pushes up and circular in the same direction as the pull. Power is generated from the hips and shoulders. Notice Malapet keeps his stance upright with his hips in as he turns his body during the pull. Notice the hand placement under the armpit. The thumb is on the front side while the other four fingers are on the back side of the armpit. From the underhook overhook position, the opponent throws a knee at Malapet. To counter, Malapet pushes his opponent away using both hands to push out around his opponent's bottom chin. Notice that as soon as his opponent raises his knee, Malapet also raises his knee so that it comes up underneath the opponent's thigh to knock him off balance. Here's another technique used to counter the opponent's knee strikes from the underhook overhook position. As the opponent strikes with his knee, Malapet raises his underhook arm high at the elbow, which pushes his opponent's arm up above the center of gravity. At the same time, Malapet raises his knee to strike the opponent beneath his thigh. Simultaneously, Malapet tilts his body sideways while pivoting on the other foot in a circular motion. When all the actions are performed together, the opponent is thrown completely off balance. The opponent grabs Malapet with both arms under. To counter, Malapet places one foot behind his opponent's knee and pushes out in a downward angle. One hand bridges the opponent's neck to keep his head down and towards the side of the pushing leg. The other hand digs underneath the opponent's arm to secure an underhook position. Once both hands are in place to keep the opponent's head low, Malapet releases the pushing leg, brings it back, and delivers a knee strike. Notice Malapet brings up both hands to guard against the initial attack before executing his technique. As the opponent attempts to grab Malapet with both arms under, Malapet counters with a throw. He wraps both arms around the opponent. One hand secures a grip under the opponent's armpit. The other hand is placed firmly behind the opponent's shoulder blade. To execute the throw, Malapet twists his body, pushes up on the armpit, and down on the shoulder blade in a steering wheel fashion. Notice Malapit's stance is square when delivering this technique. 
While Malapit has the advantage by having both arms on the inside of the tie clinch, the opponent shoots one hand for the underhook position. To counter, Malapit circles his hands clockwise to parry the opponent's shooting arm out and wide. With the arm out and wide, an opening is created for Malapit to deliver a knee strike. Notice Malapit moves his hips back sufficiently to deliver a powerful knee strike. Here Malapit initially attacks by grabbing his opponent's waist with both hands under. His opponent attempts to break the hold by digging one hand inside. Malapit immediately locks his opponent's arm by wrapping it around tight to his opponent's body. The lock is made tighter as Malapit grabs the bottom of his own bicep on the opposite arm. The forearm of this opposite arm is placed across the outside of the opponent's head with the hands pushing down on the opponent's neck. Malapit finally delivers a knee to the opponent's face. Notice Malapit's inside leg steps back a little in a circular motion to set up a knee strike. Malapet demonstrates how to take down an opponent by grabbing around the waist, lifting, twisting, and throwing. The throw is made easier as Malapet places his hips below the opponent's hips. To defend against such a throw, Malapet, one, places his lower leg across the thigh of his opponent. Notice the foot hooks beneath the opponent's thigh to secure this position. Push out with this leg every time you feel the opponent lifting. 2. The arm on the same side is wrapped tightly across the opponent's neck. 3. The opponent's other arm pushes off at the opponent's hip to prevent him from getting his hips underneath Malapet's hips. At the same time, the free leg is used to maintain balance and may be sprung up and down like a pogo stick, depending on how the opponent attempts to throw. When all the elements are in place, the opponent is unable to throw from this position. Here the opponent attempts to wrap both of his arms around Malapet's arms. Malapet shows the proper way to throw his opponent from this position. Notice Malapet's palms are open and pointed vertically up prior to executing this throw. Malapet then places his hips into his opponents, lifts, twists, and throws. Malapit and his opponent has each other's head in a deep underhook overhook type lock. The opponent has his elbow adjacent to Malapit's head. This allows Malapit to push the elbow up and free his head. Malapit pivots one leg out in a circular motion. From the side, Malapit secures a head and arm lock before delivering a knee strike to the opponent's chest. Malapit's opponent has him in a head and arm lock. Here the lock is not yet deep and Malapit has his elbow out next to the opponent's face. The opponent's elbow is also adjacent to Malapit's head. Malapit uses the elbow and forearm of the trap arm to bridge against the opponent's head while his free arm pushes up on his opponent's elbow to release the lock. 
The outer hand is then placed around the opponent's tricep area, while the inner hand presses down on the opponent's neck to lock him in a crouching position. Notice Malapet brings his inner leg back before delivering a knee strike 